Hey there, Joel here and welcome to my channel Math World. Today we are going to discuss about a topic which is mostly hated by students I think across whole of Goa and that is the word problems. Are from linear equation of two variable or whichever chapter it might be word problems are the most hated one and uh, I think I should be honest in telling you that as a child when I would go to school I would also hate word problems and probably because we were never told why you have to study word problems I remember asking my teachers what's the purpose of finding uh, age of this one is X and the age of that one is Y and then why am I finding the ages of these people why do I use X and Y and complicate the entire problem just tell me the number right but it so happened that now as a teacher as an educator when I try to find out information uh, I came across a very nice uh, article that spoke about what are actually the benefits of studying word problems and let me discuss them with you reading a word problem you tend to build up the comprehension skill which uh, wouldn't have been possible if uh, you were solving a straight away direct question like uh, what we have discussed till now is elimination so it's just the equation given solve it by this method and it's over but uh, when you read the question you try to build up comprehension skill the idea of finding what is actually a problem because you are not told what exactly is the problem so you read the question and you try to find out what's the problem to solve it out higher idea of uh, word problems generally bring you much closer to understanding and problem solving that's the whole idea and uh, knowing the purpose of studying word problems I think uh, we should start solving a few what is say I will The sum of a two digit number is 9. Also the 9 times this number is twice the number obtained by reversing the order of the digits. Represent the above statements by two linear equations and two variables. I'm sure after reading this you haven't understood anything from here. And that's because the difference in these words that is the digits and the number needs to be known first once you understand that I'm sure you will understand the entire problem okay so the sum of the digits and number so what's the difference say for example I have 23 now is this 23 a digits or a number you can pause the video and give a quick comment on that okay I hope you have done the commanding part okay let's continue so 23 can be written as 10 multiplied by 2 plus 1 multiplied by 3 what is this 1 is nothing but it tells you its place value where exactly the 3 is sitting over here it's sitting in the first place units place 10 tells you that it is sitting in the tens place if I had another number, say I'll write another number over here, 523. Right. Okay, so this is telling you that it is in its units place. 
this is telling you it is in its tens place and this is telling you it is in its hundreds place okay so that's the reason you write the number 23 number 23 as 10 multiplied by 2 plus 1 multiplied by 3 whenever you see this in, in our normal term whenever we speak we say 23 as a number but here it they are just digits kept together which make up that number but the actual mathematically the number is written in this form 10 multiplied by 2 plus 1 multiplied by 3 let us take another example 92 so I will have to write it as okay 10 multiplied by 9 telling me that 9 is sitting in the tens place and 2 multiplied by 1 telling me that 1 is in its units place that means the 2 is sitting in its units place that's how you get the number as 10 multiplied by 9 plus 1 multiplied by 2 okay if my number is not 23 and 92 but it is 10 or uh, tu this will be written as okay 10 multiplied by t telling me that t is sitting in the tens place plus 1u telling me u is sitting in the units place now this is a number and these are the digits okay so once again this is a number and these are the digits okay now in this question the sum of the digits of a two digit number is nine so which means which are the two digits we are talking about we are talking about these two digits so t plus u is equal to nine okay so here it is oh, come on okay t plus u is equal to nine that's the first part of this entire sentence the first thing that is there the next part is also nine times this number which number this number okay so nine times this number is twice the number obtained by reversing the order of the digits so nine times this number 10 t plus u i have not put this one over here from this one over here is because one multiplied by u is the same so u okay so i don't want to confuse it more so i've just written 10 t plus u so this is my number nine times this number is op is this is is nothing but equals to is twice the number okay obtained by reversing the order so what is written over here 10 t plus u so in this case the only replacement that happens is instead of t u is written and instead of u t is written that is what we say by reversing the order of the digits okay we said right so t and u are nothing but the digits so i've just replaced them over here okay and this actually gives you the basic equation so after opening the bracket 9 multiplied by 10 t will give you 90 t 9 multiplied by u will give you 9 u over here 2 into 10 is 20 u and 2 into t will give you 2 t oh sorry come back okay 2 t right and you need to get the variables and the coefficients on one side solve it by maybe elimination or substitution or even cross multiplication to get the answer but in this question you are just told to represent so we have done with the representing this is my first equation and this is my 
second equation. Basically, whenever you're told to find out the equations, it's better to write them in their general form. Okay, I hope you have understood the entire concept of this word problem.